In today's video, we're breaking down five different free video editing softwares with no watermark. Let's do it. What's going on guys, my name's Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you. Today we're jumping into a extremely big topic on my channel, which is the free video editing software topic. So many people are getting involved in video editing. So many people don't wanna pay crazy amounts of money to get a you know top of the range video editor like Premiere Pro, something like that. And uh, it's totally understandable, I get it now. Uh, there is a, uh, a whole playlist on my channel actually called the free video editing software playlist that I constantly update for the nature of this being such a popular topic on my channel. So go ahead and check that out in the description if you're interested in more free video editors and without further ado, let's jump into it. Now the editors I'm going to be covering in today's video are actually going to be uh, VSDC, Lightworks, HitFilm, Shotcut, and Blender. So five different programs, five kind of different operating systems that they work for, different kind of, uh, you know, uh, aspects of video production that they cater to more. And uh, we're just gonna run down the list, pretty much. And, you know, we're gonna start with the first one, end with the last one, and then tell you at the end, you know, which one I think is overall the best for different people in different situations, like, uh, you know, depending on the power of your computer, what operating system you're on, etc. Without further ado, let's do it. So first off is VSDC. VSDC Video Editor is actually only available for Windows, I believe, which is kind of annoying, but at the end of the day, it is, uh, you know, it's just catered towards Windows pretty much. Now, it's amazing for YouTubers, uh, but by all means, it has a bunch of kind of features in there that are, I guess, uh, really supportive of YouTubers. I remember covering it maybe six months or so. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. About six months ago, I covered it, and I'll be leaving tutorials to almost all of the programs I talk about in this video down below as well. So if you do pick one, like if you just picked VSDC, even though it's the first one, I, you know, I'd wait to hear what I have to say about the other ones, but if you picked it, you could go down below and find a tutorial of me carrying on from you picking it and uh, you know, then learning about that specific one. But VSDC, only Windows, there's also a paid version, but the free version is entirely operatable and uh, you know, very easy to use, believe me. Uh, like I said, I made a video a while ago and it was super easy to uh, kind of get transitioned into the layout and then understand how it works. Number two is Lightworks. Lightworks, phenomenal free video editor. A lot of people out there have, you know, highly endorsed it for quite some time and they're definitely not looking like they're going to, uh, you know, uh, phase out of the free phase. And it's actually uh, kind of better than VSDC in the fact that it supports everybody. So it supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. So whatever operating system you're on, you can get Lightworks and it's super easy. Again, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of one of those ones that would be a good transition from Windows Live Movie Maker, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, it's 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 not kind of overwhelming when you look at the layout, and uh, you could get pretty transitioned relatively quickly, I think. Now, number three is going to be HitFilm Express. There's a paid version of HitFilm called HitFilm, and then the the free version is HitFilm Express. So get HitFilm Express. Some people get a little confused there, and HitFilm do kind of try edge you towards buying the full version, but it, uh, as a free version, it is probably the uh, most powerful free video editing software on the market, for real. It has just so many advanced features. You know, I, I know so many people who've been using HitFilm for years and years and years, and uh, they vouch for it so heavily that they're not even going to switch over to Premiere, which is sort of the, the natural progression of a video editor. They start on, you know, Windows Live Movie Maker, they then get some free video editors, and then they move their way up to kind of the industry standard, which is Premiere, but I know a bunch of people who are refusing. They're like, no, I'm not going to Premiere. I can do everything I need to do in HitFilm. And uh, yeah, I know some phenomenal editors solely choosing HitFilm. So it's, in my opinion, the most advanced of all of the kind of free editors. But like I said, there's a paid version as well, which is HitFilm and uh, the free version is HitFilm Express. And it's also available for both Mac and Windows. I don't think it's available for Linux yet, but definitely Mac and Windows, which are of course the kind of chief operating systems most people will be coming into the game on. now. Number four is Shotcut. Shotcut available for all operating systems, which is why it's so kind of commonly uh, used by kind of the masses, because not only is it available for all operating systems, but I think it runs the smoothest on any computer out of any of the video editors that I got on this list, right? So if you're using only a you know laptop that's kind of a few years old, only about four gigabytes of RAM on there or something like that, Shotcut's probably your best bet because it's just such a uh, easy, uh, editor to use and um, you know it doesn't require much power which is kind of the main aspect which 
makes it appropriate for a lot of people or kind of the, the average person, I guess. Um, not in all cases though, and if you've got a you know higher power computer, you should probably go for something around like HitFilm or something like that. But available for all OS, it is a hands down good software. I'd recommend it, Shotcut. And of course, you know, I got videos on it on the channel, both advanced videos, uh, beginner videos, all sort of stuff. Finally, Blender. Now Blender more traditionally, I guess you could say, is an animating software. Uh, that's what I kind of found out about it because of it. Uh, back in the day when I was doing my Cinema 4D and stuff like that, it's kind of a similar program to Cinema 4D. In Blender, you can do a bunch of uh, uh, what's called motion tracking stuff if you're doing some cool 3D motion tracking, but it's a fully functional video editor as well, a standalone video editor, and um, you can do a bunch in there. Super simple, it's been around for a long time. The company definitely believes in giving a free asset to the people so that they can benefit from it in you know animation ways and 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 editing ways and all sorts of ways and uh, 100% Blender's cool. I don't have that much experience with it, but like I said, I have known about it for years now. It's always been free. The company's very, uh, you know, um, their mission is definitely to provide a free utility to the people that they can benefit from for animation and for video editing. Very cool. Those right there are the five free video editing softwares on the internet with no watermarks. There's a couple others. There's probably, I'd say another four that are kind of reputable. Um, you know, DaVinci Resolve, phenomenal. Didn't put it on the list because I've talked about it a bunch here on the channel. Really great editor, whole bunch of other ones as well. And uh, you know, no watermark on any of these. So if you've been struggling with something like Filmora or, or some nonsense like that, which uh, kind of brings you into the software on the, uh, you know, idea that it's free and then you try export and it's, uh, you know, got a watermark where they make you pay to upgrade. That stuff sucks. No one feels like getting trapped, especially when I hear the stories of people getting a you know free editor like that and then spending six hours on a project just to try export and realizing that it's, that it's paid, you gotta pay to export, which is just a terrible strategy as a company. It's just like forcing you to buy it. You, you, you know, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth if you did pay the money to upgrade, if they kind of tricked you into doing it. So not a big fan of that. Definitely a big fan of all these free watermarks and um, in conclusion, if you're using a high spec computer, I've got a really you know high spec computer on my left hand side. It's great, so I can you know obviously easily use any of these editors. I would suggest that on a high spec computer you get HitFilm. HitFilm Express is the most advanced on this list, definitely, and uh, you can do the most. So if you got a high spec computer, grab it for low spec systems, for slow systems, uh, especially for laptops. If you don't have over four gigabytes of RAM, and uh, you know. If you don't have four gigabytes of RAM, running some of these programs might be a little bit tough, but they can all still survive for sure. And for the slower systems, I'd get Shotcut or maybe Lightworks as well, or VSDC. But uh, yeah, there's a few ones you can get for the slower systems, but for the advanced one, HitFilm is your man or your woman, depending on where you're coming from. <laughs> Anyways, boom, that right there is the video done and wrapped. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna give another shout out to the free video editing software playlist, which is linked down below. Also, I have independent tutorials on pretty much all of these programs that I talked about here. Again, in the description along by the uh, you know link to the website, which you could get the, the editors from. Hope you enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed more than I hope you enjoyed. I hope it provided value. So I hope you know you 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 now have the information necessary to go get one of these editors, start using it, and uh, you know leave me a comment in a few months saying how much amazing stuff you've been able to do because you found the editor through this video. That's uh that's my motivation really. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a nice day, and uh, I will see you in an upcoming video or not. See ya.